Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to part 22. Wow, 22 of my Mass Effect 3 Let's Play series. Part 21 was kind of boring. Went to the Citadel, tried to turn in a bunch of missions. Turn a few in, got more than we bargained for, I would say. Um, uh, the other outcome of that was we, we talked to a lot of the squad mates that wanted to chat. Um, a bunch of the ones from Mass Effect 2, uh, as well as the current squad mates, also set up the romance option with Liara, and that's like full full steam ahead. Liara is, is the lady for us. Um, I took a look around at the galaxy map in between the 21 and filming this one, and it seems like there's nothing else for us to go do. There's no other side missions we can do. It's just, we could either do the uh, the Citadel mission, um, which is the Citadel DLC, or we can go into uh, the Perseus Vale mission, the main story. And we're gonna go into the main story, Perseus Vale time. So let's get going into that. I've talked too much already. I'm ready to go, woo! To the far rim we go, to meet up with the Corians. Yes, the Korean Envoy ship. Alright, so it seems like it's a high-tech vessel. That's all I got out of that. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again. Though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. Yeah, I don't really feel like getting into the history. If you really want to know, go watch my Mass Effect 1 and 2 videos. Um, I, I, I kind of agree. Um, you know, they, they probably should recover their homeworld. I don't know if this is exactly the right time to try and do that. Like... There's a bigger looming threat, and we should try and resolve that. Excuse me, first before you start like trying to take back your homeworld, which you might not live on for too much longer. Weirdos. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your homeworld. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geral. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board. Then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of in for the counterattack. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tally Zora. Vas... Normandy. Tally Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Admirals, I'll ready a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Whoa, that was weird. It was a harsh cut. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. Damn right. <laughs> like... <laughs> Does. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, we're gonna keep up the renegade options here. I came hoping your fleet would help me retake Earth. Don't worry. We pay our debts. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Mm. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. Yeah. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. 
And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the Admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. Yeah, we can go catch up with Tally for a little bit. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. What a weird... What the fuck? Alright, hold on, let's exit then. Let's go talk Later. with Tally for a little bit. This thing sucks. This is so annoying. Like, alright, I... I sort of get it, because, like, this is the war room, like, they want to, like, vet people coming in. But just to have it as a game mechanic sucks. It impedes your movement. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. Mm, can you join me? No. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned Both. it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. Yeah, I don't know how to handle that one. I never wanted to be an admiral. Yeah, we don't really need to go into war history and Tally's history. Talk to you later, Tally. I... If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. That's that, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Okay. Because, like, all right, this general info is fine, but it's like we're treating her like she's some other rando person, like one of the other war admirals. And it's like, no, what I really want to do is I want to actually talk, like, personally with Tally. Get some info on her. So let's call her up. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. Call her up to the bang room. Be Michael Jordan. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me, and I don't know if I can save them. You're gonna be a dick. Even if we defeat the Geth, you will lose more ships, Tally. You need to be ready for that. My father once told me that commanders mourn losses, not people. He didn't think he could make the big decisions, the ones affecting the whole fleet, unless he put people at a distance. I don't think I can do that. Maybe I'm not meant to be an admiral. They need you here. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought take the you'd take the chance to make things better. Uh, yup. Yeah. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. This is so weird that, like, you just, you kind of, like, float around in this representation of, like, a galaxy map. And I don't know if this is, like, actually moving the ship to the location, or if this is more of, like, a planning attack. Like, we're just kind of sitting at the, the mass relay, but it's like we're planning to go to here. I don't know. That's just a weird representation of, like, how it actually works. I've got no idea. We're gonna go on to the Dreadnought. We're approaching the Quarian home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Why's he got his helmet on? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. 
Infiltrate the dreadnought? Indeed. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams awkward. except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute. They had to provide some explanation of why... Slow walking, I could probably do without. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance dreadnought. Okay. Ugh. Do we have to do this? It's annoying. Is this just some docking tube? Why are we just in a docking tube? Can't I run faster? Can't I do something faster? What are you doing, Shepard? Ugh. Bold. The lack of gravity is a little disorienting. The dreadnought has artificial gravity. You should be okay once you're on board. Until then, I'll make do with mag boots. Hey, take your time, Commander. We're fine until they, you know, look out a window. Get don't use windows, remember? Structural weakness. Yep. Like the cats are just sitting there saying, those organics would never try the no windows thing twice. <laughs> a good point yeah that was a uh, mass effect 2 we boarded a, a geth heretic vessel looks like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube so i'm guessing you'd rather not solo the dreadnought not if i can help it ask tally to get on the dreadnought schematics if you can point me at another docking tube i'll override the controls and let the boarding party on wow all right so this is like i've got gravity again on my own. Alright. Alright. There should be a hole breach not far from your position. Yep. I found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Let me salvage some data. Yeah, so this is this is an interesting thing of like, alright. Play on your own. Uh, no squad mates to help you out. I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight any geth on my own. I don't think so. Looks like we just found it immediately. Just kind of like, it's a weird... Like, why? Got it. You're clear to board. Well, like, why'd they even do that? Might have just all have us boarded at once. It's like, ah, suspense. No? Are you alright, Shepard? No. Were you worried about me? Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. Take a look at what? Take a look at that gun? There, it's open. We're clear to go. A gun? What? Why did she... What the fuck? An arc pistol. Why was that even like... impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. Double we need check. to hurry! My oh. people are getting torn apart out oh there! Oh my gosh, shut up. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operations center. There! The Reaper signal's coming from the drive core. 
but be ready. I'm reading hostile geth on the other side of the doors. I mean, there's gonna be hostile geth everywhere. They just give me we'll like the signal two minutes or something. Shepherd! Don't die. Like, someone thought that, oh, right. it might be cool to, like, have some actions take place. Like, you need to be, be involved in this. But why? Why have Good. that? Hopefully we're done with elevators. Hey, come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. This is just... You're adding things in for no reason. It's so dumb. Alright, are we at the drive core yet? Because I'd like to disable it. I think we are. That's definitely Reaper tech, but what's... Legion. Shepard Commander, help us. Legion. Shepard, wait. The Geth are being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Maybe. I, I I agree that like maybe. Good point. Guess we can't take any chances. Shepherd Commander, wait, we can assist you. You spoke with us. You know we would never agree to subjugation by the old machines. How do I know you're not under Reaper control? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex. But we are being used to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. I'm here to destroy that command signal. Freeing us will end the signal. You may then destroy us if you deem it necessary. Mm. Okay, Legion. Nobody's gonna get destroyed. Just take it slowly, all right? Wait. You cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Of course they are. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? Exactly. No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the Creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. They only joined the Reapers to save themselves. Nothing excuses an alliance. Oh, shut up, Tally, you God. asshole. Tally's order to fleet. The signal is about to go offline. This is Admiral Hangel. We're in your debt. Hardware blocks offline. We are free. Cool. Where's he going? Oh, okay, that's just how we got out. Do we have to fight our way down? Kiva. As a gesture of cooperation, we have disabled the Dreadnought's drive core. All weapons and barriers are offline. Yep, incoming Geth time. Wouldn't Alert. be a Mass Effect Geth mission without a fight. Incoming. Is that a Geth Prime? The Geth fleet is destabilized. Watch out, that's a signal. It's offline. Heavy fleet, prepare to counter attack. Understood. I'm bringing the Pashar fleet into support position. Whenever you're ready, Admiral Girl. Admiral Girl, what are you doing? Ron, check your screens. The Dreadnought is helpless. No barriers. The main gun is offline. Can we strike now? Damn it! We agreed to a counter attack, not a blind charge. What are you talking about? We're still on board. We can't waste this chance. Heavy fleet, all forward. Take out the dreadnought. 
Brach. Why would you do that? What are they doing? Focus on the gap. I'll worry about the admiral later. Okay, now I think we're out of here. Legion. Shepard Commander, the Creator fleet is firing upon this vessel. Without barriers, this ship will be destroyed. We must evacuate. We need to get to the escape pods. Can't transmit intelligence as via remote signal. We do not use escape pods. Uh oh. Suggestions? Gaff fighters are docked in a port side fighter bay. We can pilot a fighter to safety. Let's go! The door! Double time, people! Hurry! We're losing these biomedical fields! We'll make it! You're acting like I'm, like, doing dumb things here. Yeah, as long as we don't get shot out of the sky. Does the like, that would suck. Room, We're fine. Go. It's weird, like, that they the ships look like bugs. Sir. I can't help them win this war if they're gonna go off half-cocked like this. I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Yeah, not if they're gonna fire on me Your and kill me, assholes. endangers us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They yep. escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. Your military, you understand that. <sighs> no, they didn't change. I was still on fucking ship, you dickhead. I understand that you ignored the plan and charged in without thinking. The Dreadnought was a perfect target. <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Yeah. Fuck out Shepard, of here. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Hut. Admiral Corris sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the whole hmm. world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, oh, we are prepared to them. offer assistance. I see your Geth friend has returned. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. Just kind of weird. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth consensus. Maybe? Legion said it could help us. For now, let's hear what it has to say. Understood, Commander. So, you say you can help? Yes. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. 
They are currently disorganized, but once the short range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Zen, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where's it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Okay. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kodesh! We've lost barriers! Our comm system is jammed! Can anyone hear this? We have Geth fighters here! Ron, the Kinesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters. Damn it. Interceptors, divert to the Kinesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. Woohoo! You know, we, we have some side missions that we can go do. Um, we gotta go do fuel reactors. We've got some Rannick... Uh, uh, missions to go do similar to Tachunka, where it was you have like the main mission on Tachunka, but you got like the two side missions for it to help out either side, which you should go do. There's this whole bunch of side missions of like go find things. So hopefully we'll go do that. But yeah, for now we're we have Tally on the ship and we're trying to help the Corians out to reclaim their homeworld and hopefully once we're done with this they'll have it. Hopefully we're also not going to destroy the Geth because, well, having an AI uh, sort of race helping you out might be useful, especially against a group of another AI that's trying to destroy all life. So it, it seems like the Geth are, are kind of on our side. Hopefully we can keep them as long as I play things right. I gotta do these side missions first and then we should be good to go. Um, but yeah, probably part 23 then is going to do those side missions, and 24 maybe finish out the main story on Rannick, and we'll see what happens from there. But for now, we're going to end it. Thanks to everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do the usual stuff. Check out other videos. I say this all the time. You know the deal. But I'm out. Statman. Signing off.